Really? You're going to tell me that you're refusing the advances of Ian McGregor? <laughs> Please. Down with Love? Released in 2003 and is directed by Peyton Reed, who is also behind such films like Bring It On, The Breakup, Yes Men, and both of the Ant-Man movies. And this film is starring Renee Zellweger, Ewan McGregor, David Hyde Pierce, and Sarah Paulson. And the reason why we're talking about Down With Love is because it was a PayPal recommendation from two of my biggest supporters and contributors on this channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rusted Beetle. This was on your list of recommendations that you sent in with the several donations that you've made recently. I can't thank you to enough and I love getting recommendations from you because you recommend films that I've never even heard of or have seen before and if I would have seen this poster on the wall somewhere or you know back in the day at a video rental shop I would have passed it by because it just didn't catch my interest at all I mean you look at the poster how generic of a romantic comedy poster can that be? They might as well be pointing at each other going, <laughs> well, it's him. Well, her. But if any of you want to be like Mr. and Mrs. Rusted Beetle and help contributing to this channel, you can make a PayPal donation by clicking on the donate button on the main page of my YouTube channel. Any size donation will do. And if you have a movie that you really want to recommend to me and have me review as quickly as possible, you can attach your movie with your donation. And if I have access to it, I will watch it, review it, and give you a shout on the channel. Down With Love is a romantic comedy parody satire that highlights the relationship between men and women in the workplace. Barbara Novak is an up-and-coming writer who is getting her first book published in New York City. And to help promote her book, her publishing company requests an interviewer from No Magazine's top journalist, Ketcha Block, who keeps evading the request. So then the film becomes a fun cat-and-mouse farcical satire, with Novak and Block constantly crossing paths, disguising their identities, and eventually falling in love. I mean, that's not a spoiler that was going to happen. The main thing that I'm thinking about after watching this film is... How has this not been turned into a Broadway musical yet? This has every single element that you would find in a Broadway musical. It's light, it's fluffy, it's fun, it really reminded me of Thoroughly Modern Millie a lot. The melodramatic acting, the ridiculous and over-the-top and farcical storytelling and story coincidences all have the elements of a Broadway musical. Again, how has this not happened? I've said it before on this channel that I like when films know what they are and they don't try to exceed or pretend that there's something that they're not. Another recommendation that the Beatles gave me was the film Shoot 'em Up, and in that film, they know that it's a stupid action fantasy all-out kick-ass ride. They're not trying to take themselves too seriously and try to convey some type of political or moral message here. No, they're just creating that out of fun and pure entertainment. That's what this movie is. The main thing here is just pure entertainment and fluff and comedy and laughs and a satirical look at the way that men and women are portrayed in the workplace. And they make fun of it a lot. Because the differences in men versus women in the workplace in real life is actually pretty comical because it's so lopsided it's not even funny. And just for the record, it should be equal in my eyes. A lopsidedness, of course, is men trying to keep their power and to try to keep their raises and their pay per hour type salaries. I guess that doesn't really make sense. Pay per hour is not salary. Salary is salary. Pay per hour is hourly. Dumbass. So I guess they are conveying a very powerful message here, but they're taking a look at it in a satirical way, which I commend films for doing when they take a very serious subject like workforce and sexual harassment and gender equality and looking at it through the lens of comedy. I, I do commend it. And this thing is hammed up as shit. Everyone is walking dramatically. Everyone is reading their lines dramatically. David High Pierce, I mean, when has he ever not delivered a line melodramatically. Oh, what? We're helping the Nazis? No, they're bad. Why are we doing that? <laughs> this is a great line. I love that one. With a romantic comedy, it is very important to have great chemistry between your two lead actors, and these two have great chemistry with each other. You can tell there's an attraction. They actually want to be together, but don't want to be together. That's where the whole romantic comedy and farcical stuff comes into play. And they have great theatrical sensibilities. Like I said, these scenes, this dialogue works very well in a play and these two actors have great just farcical sensibilities to where they can ham it up 
to a certain degree. Another reason why this thing should be converted into a Broadway musical is the costuming and set design. It's a costumer's dream, the bright, vibrant colors on these 60s gowns and coats, and the suits look slick as hell. And there's a lot of play on words and a lot of innuendos in this film. When Ian McGregor and David Hyde Pierce are comparing sock size, but then someone's listening in on the overcom, and it sounds like they're measuring each other's as penises, that is theater material. I'll be honest, at first, I was not digging this thing just because because I wasn't in the mood for a Broadway theatrical fluffy piece like this, but as the film went through, and actually the more that Ewan McGregor was on screen, he just has charisma for days and I just love watching him, the more I became invested here. Renee Zellweger, I think, is fine in this film. It's really the big word that I have for her just for any film that she is in. Like, she's fine. She looks like she's been sucking on too many lemons, but she's fine. And Sarah Paulson is very solid in every performance that she gives. And the same thing goes for this movie. I just think it's a fun overall time. I don't think it's anything spectacular, nothing that I'm gonna crave to wanna go back and see, but I do appreciate the looking at serious topics through a comedic lens to where, hey, we can laugh at it, but hey, there's actually a very serious topic here, and now I'm kind of aware of it type thing going on with this movie. I'm gonna give Down With Love three and a half out of five Blu-rays. I am above average. All right, everyone, now because my favorite part of my video is where I pick which movie I'm going to be watching next. And actually, I'm not going to be picking this one because this is another PayPal donation that I received from another one of my contributors, Autumn Blood. You recommended the film Blanca Nieves. Blanca Nieves, of course, is Spanish for Snow White. And I know that there are just hundreds of versions of the Snow White tale out there. I've never heard of this one, probably because it's a foreign film and, you know, I'm as cultured as shit. But I'm very excited to check it out, Autumn Blood. Thank you very much for your donation. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, you can make a PayPal donation on the main page of my YouTube channel. Any size donation will do, just attach your movie recommendation with your donation, and if I have access to it, I will watch it, review it, give you a shout out on the channel, and get my review of it published as quickly as I possibly can. So guys, if you've seen Down With Love, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before, and you stumbled across because of this video, then comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I release the next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time with my review of Blanca Nieves. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.